Emotions are a key part of the human experience. They can help us take some positive action, and they can also be so strong that they need to be managed. For example, when we feel anxious before speaking to a large group of people. Psychologists have found that different people can have quite different beliefs about how well they can control their emotions. For instance, some people might believe their emotions just come and go, and there's not much they can do about them, while others think they have a lot of control over their emotions. We call this emotion controllability beliefs. To understand this area better, we carried out a systematic review of 19 different studies examining these beliefs to find out how they might be linked to anxiety and depression in 14 to 24 year olds. We also asked some young people with lived experience of anxiety and depression to help us with this research. We found that young people who believe emotions are controllable are less likely to experience symptoms of anxiety and depression. It looks like this is because if you believe you can control your emotions, you tend to use healthier strategies to deal with them. One healthy strategy is what we call reappraisal. This is when you change the way you think about something to make yourself feel better. People who frequently use reappraisal tend to feel happier, more satisfied with their lives, and less likely to feel anxious or depressed. Like all research, it's important to consider these findings with some caution. Almost all the studies we found on this topic were from Western countries, so we might not be able to say much beyond this context. We also need more information on what happens to young people over time. Most of the studies we reviewed used data that was collected at one time point or over a short period of time. Future research needs to involve longer term studies and studies that look at the effects of interventions designed to change emotion controllability beliefs. We think this is a promising new area of research and one that could have a wide range of benefits for young people's mental health and well-being. <laughs>